Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, then consider subscribing. In today's Nick Research Review, we will be investigating how prolonged fasting, so fasting longer than a single day, impacts our metabolism and our hormones. So if that's what you're here to find out about, then in a short, sweet, science-based piece of content, let's jump into it. The human body has immense plasticity, the ability to adapt to unimaginable stressors to maintain homeostasis, a state of living that is no different when fasting, abstaining from all nutritional energy that we receive from our macronutrients. However, how does it keep you alive when you do not consume food for days at a time? Does your metabolism change? How do your hormones change? Well. I'll tell you. We know that metabolism does not slow from something relatively mild like a 16 hour fast, but after several days of no energy intake, your metabolism may decrease to compensate influenced chiefly by the decreases in leptin, which binds your hypothalamus, which controls your metabolic rate through actions like spontaneous movement, which will, of course, decrease to compensate the lack of energy intake. As fasting continues, blood glucose, sugar, levels decrease before eventually leveling out. This is further substantiated by decreases in glucose metabolism as the cells largely begin to shift toward fat metabolism. Again, this is further evidenced as lipids, fats, are released from adipocytes, fat cells, to be taken up by other cells of the body and for the use in fat metabolism. Predictably, ketones also increase as the liver begins converting lipids to ketones to fuel the brain and other ketone-consuming cells. Finally, many different amino acids change in concentration, but notably leucine content skyrockets, likely because protein breakdown from degradation within the cells of the body. While I already mentioned leptin, the hormone glucagon increases and insulin decreases as glucose decreases. Glucagon to stimulate gluconeogenesis, the formation of new glucose from the liver and kidneys, releasing it into the bloodstream to maintain blood glucose. While insulin decreases as the pancreas does not get the stimulus to release insulin due to decreased blood glucose levels. As a backup mechanism, cortisol also increases if the fast continues beyond several days, as cortisol further stimulates release of a variety of substrates highest in the morning. Finally, growth hormone also pulses throughout a 24 hour period, increased at night to stimulate fat breakdown from the adipocytes. Overall, you can fully expect a shift from a glucose centric metabolism to a more fat centric metabolism as a variety of hormones interplay to fulfill the overall result of keeping you alive and functional. And with that dialogue out of the way, that is what I have for you. Of course, you can check out my references in the linked article, which are going to be rather numerous as this is a research review. And you can check out more details in that article as well if you're confused by anything that I mentioned. And with that said, I hope I have the absolute pleasure of speaking with you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.